I think we've reached that point, Jimmy. Discharge should take a couple of hours. Oh, I let the ranch know. Who'd you talk to? What did they say? Said they were sending a car. What's the matter, baby? Why aren't you happy? Season four starts with Jimmy very, very badly injured. But it must be said that Mia stays with him, is sort of helping him with his physical therapy and supporting. So he doesn't have much in the world at that point, but he still has Mia. Jimmy working so hard to get back into a healthy state makes her want to work hard to be by his side. You're getting so much better, baby. Jimmy spent the first three seasons building a life for himself at the Yellowstone. He gets back on that horse, and that whole world that he had built for himself just collapses in a second. He takes a big risk with it, going back and almost losing his life. Boy, he sure got lucky when he found you. I'm the lucky one. No, honey, you aren't. You take a chance when you rodeo that you could lose your job if you get hurt. And if you get hurt too much, you take too much time off, you're not what you'd call a good employee. You broke your word. He elects to give Jimmy a last chance, and it's to go away. You screw this up, you're on your own. Sometimes you gotta go away to learn something. To be sent away from the Yellowstone, this future that he's been imagining for himself, it's all just being discarded. John is land rich and not cash rich. Where is the stream of revenue gonna come from? I think of putting traps on the road. He understands how Travis is gonna work, and John makes the final decision on what we're gonna buy. You're from where, Texarkana? Yeah, Texarkana. And it was my first time working with Taylor, and so there's a real sense of adrenaline and improvisation working with him. You can't get in your head. Which side of the river? North. That is not Texas, that is fucking Arkansas. Don't tell people you're from Texas. We always have some funny moments. He, he writes some good stuff for us always. What's that for? A little wedding present. How'd you figure that out, motherfucker? I'm a horse trainer, brother. When a woman goes off the market, I get a fucking email. Because he's the rider, he can riff and do whatever the hell he wants to do. We improvise back and forth and, and talk shit, so it's, it's great. Need to show you something. Me? Yeah. Probably one of my favorite characters. He's a new character, and him and Beth meet outside the hospital. What happened to your face? What happened to yours, you insensitive little fuck? She meets this kid, played by this extraordinary actor, Finn Little. They have this conversation about their dad's dying, and it's an odd, weirdly beautiful scene. And before you know it, Beth goes with him and is in the room with him as he says goodbye to his dad. She sort of feels sorry for him. It's just sort of this fated moment where suddenly these two people who are alone in the world meet. He claims that you're his guardian. I'm his wife. She feels like she has to take me in and help me because I've got no chance. That's his future. And suddenly she sort of tries on what it feels like to look after somebody. I think you might be our kid, baby. And I just found that so moving that she would even allow that thought in. When we think of Beth, we think that she's so hard and so tough and so strong. Yet at the same time, we get these moments, these sort of caverns of deep feeling and deep devotion and love and passion. And suddenly, she's going to accept this kid into her heart. Get your shit and get out of my house. He says, get the fuck out of my house, and means it. It doesn't start easy for him, but it doesn't start easy for anyone on that ranch. You don't get a chance. Ain't that the fucking truth? He finally sees what Beth sees in me, and he thinks that he can try help, but he is very skeptical about it. If I catch you stealing, you're fucking gone. All right, come on. There's a gauntlet that you have to go through, and there's no easy way. You don't deserve it, and you never will. You don't deserve it? No one deserves it. Finn's been great. Roll stamp, please. Um. This place is like Mars to Finn. 
Looks a little young to be going on the payroll. No, he don't go on the payroll. He's like me, sir. Yeah, there's a similarity. Both of them have had very rough lives before they landed at Yellowstone. Rip told me he'd be first to the barn. I'm not. Well, I don't count. I'm not working. This is uh, physical therapy. Kevin, he's a really fun actor to work with. He's very professional and he's really great. But he also has a funny side to him. Well, if I don't come back, you send out the search party. Where do I send him? Don't know where you're going. Well, I guess he'll just have to earn the title then, huh? The guy goes like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep it not over to you guys. Ready? And action. What is that? I don't know. Uh, we learned that there is a halt at the build site for the airport. Oh, hold up. Get up on out of there. We need to call this in. There are human relics that have been uncovered by a crew doing an initial dig. You're late. Your flight was early. So I am the constant your time adjusts to. Caroline Warner is the chair of the Board of Directors of Market Equities. She is tasked with finishing the job that Willa and Rourke started. Educate me exactly on what the fuck I'm stepping into. She's come to town to straighten things out. I don't want to argue anything. Would you walk with me? Caroline is the next level corporate raider I have a proposal. I'm all ears. And she offers as a deal that sounds too good to be true. We'll fund the build for you. We see Caroline begin her strategy that, in her words, stops harassing them and uh, begins seducing them. We get to see the challenges of meeting a force that's greater than we have previously encountered. I cannot wait to pave this place over. We're gonna have some fireworks. I think one of Jamie's big dreams has always been self-sufficiency. I think he's trying so hard to establish himself independently, prove to others and to himself that he's a real man. And in his world, that means you gotta own something. And Jamie makes that move with his real dad. Right up the offer. I heard Yellowstone was breaking up. I'm not buying this for the Yellowstone. I'm buying this for me. This is one of those steps where it could be a violent end.